Hello, this is Sanadat here. Hi, dear viewers. It's been a while. Yeah, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is my first video for the month of September. Um, in fact, the last video I posted was the Ranger Key Wave 4 review um, to my channel. And that was the last thing I have produced in terms of sound out reviews. And you're probably wondering, what happened? You were producing up, like, a new video every other day. Well, a simple thing happened, and that simple thing is called college. College started up again, and that is why it started on the 25th. Which my last video was on the 21st, and it is now September the 23rd. It's been a very long time since I've done a video, and I really apologize for that. The thing is, college last semester ended in late April. College this semester started in August. I took no summer classes, so all summer I had time to produce videos and do other stuff. And the college classes I was taking prior to the last, last semester didn't have any homework. I have a ton of homework, and I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with it. Um, in fact, this is the first time I have had a night where I've not had some homework due. Um, I've turned in all my homework for the night. I'm done, so I had time to make a video. Um, that's really what's been, been holding things up is... And I'm just going to be honest here. My videos... To do one of my videos, it can take anywhere from an hour to three hours, depending on YouTube upload speed. Um, so that is why videos haven't been coming out as much. I like producing a, a quality product, so I don't want to make a short video that's terrible, a uh, ton of those instead of, uh, you know, good videos. So that is the reason why there hasn't been anything on the channel lately. Um, and I really apologize for that. I want to keep producing content, I just haven't had the time. I have one review, however filmed, that I have not edited. And I really should have, and that would be Arms Change Common Rider Bravo. I got him back in July. Let me tell you something. Um, and this is this is the first thing I'm calling this vlog updates on literally everything because I have something to talk about about pretty much everything that involves my channel today. First of all, the Arms Change montages for the guy and figures, unfortunately, will be going away for the remainder of the line. I filmed one for Bravo. It took me three hours to film an arm change montage, which is only just several minutes. And right now with college and the rate of these are going to start picking up, like I have one a month uh, through January, I think. Um, I, I can't spend that much time on a video uh, review of them. As of right now, it's, it's kind of late to review Bravo, but I'm still going to put the review out. What I may end up doing is cutting the arm change montage for Bravo, but I just, I, I physically don't have the time anymore. Um, it's just very difficult. So, what I'll do is when this whole line is over, because I'm not really sure when it ends, I was like, oh, everything's done. Malus and Kamaro will be the last set. And then Bandai's like, here, have Ryugi and Yomi. I'm like, all right, I'll get Ryugi and Yomi. Anyways, um, not to get off track, but basically, I'm not going to do any of the armor shade montages for the next few reviews. Uh, I will, however, when this line is all said and done, I will sit down and fill in the gaps, and I will have a video arm change montage with every possible armor combination. So you have to wait for that for like February, March time frame, um, because Ryugi Yomi is not out till January. Um, so I apologize for that, but yeah, that's just going to be a necessary thing. Uh, it's going to make the video shorter, so that's a bonus. But the arm change montages are going away uh, for now, but I will bring them back as one giant wrap-up video. <sighs> So that's the first order of business. Bravo's review will probably be the next thing you see after this video. Um, I think without the arm change montage. So, further continuing on things. Uh, other reviews. Now, I didn't have much to review right before college started. It was pretty much just Bravo. Um, and then I bought a bunch of stuff since then. So, yeah. Anyways, um, things that will be coming up. I want to get working on more reviews. And they're going to be kind of spaced out. I may, I want to try to get back to, like, two videos a week. Maybe one video a week. It may not be any videos a week if I have presentations and stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to film several videos this weekend and then try to get up a new review 
two, two or three videos a week. It's the goal. Now, I say videos and not reviews because I have a secondary channel, Sound Out Gaming. Uh, if you had not heard about that yet, yeah, uh, Sound Out Gaming is going to get more active. Uh, we are hitting the Christmas season with Hyrule Warriors coming out on Friday. I'm going to have a lot of things to talk about. Um, and I want to do a video or two on Hyrule Warriors. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to film things. I don't have a capture card, so you have to bear with me there. But yeah, check out Sound Out Gaming starting Friday. I want to have a, uh, a preliminary thoughts on Hyrule Warriors video. Um, just kind of post it after I play the game for a few hours. So look forward to that. Um, check my Twitter feed. That is the best way to keep track of things. I want to set up a Facebook fan page at one point. I just figure out how to do that and have the time to do that um, because I know a lot of people use Facebook. So if you want to follow everything that I'm doing between the two channels, subscribe to both channels on YouTube, follow me on Twitter. I post updates there. I post mildly humorous things. I retweet cool stuff. Follow me on Twitter. It's at SoundOut12. That is me. <sighs> Moving along. Upcoming reviews. Uh, things I want to review. Well, I started buying Tokyo Dramecca, starting with Mr. Safari Gao here. Um, I'm planning to get all the Tokyo Dr. Russia. I, I love the show at this point. Um, and I want to keep getting all the mecha. There's only one issue with reviewing these guys. This is the only Tokyo mold robo I'll have for a while. I ordered the Chigokin Tokyo. He doesn't come out till November, but I've got mecha that work with him. Uh, so I want to know from you guys in the comments, because uh, this is probably going to be a review I filmed this weekend, um, would you like to see reviews of like Drill Russia, Shield Russia, the Kyuryuja Russia, Deno Russia, and using uh, Safari Gao here as the base body, or would you like to see it with Tokyo? Would you like to see those reviews after I get Tokyo? So, basically what I'm asking is, would you like to see the reviews now, or after November? Um, and if I go ahead and do the reviews now, then I'll show the combinations in the Chirigo and Tokyo review. So, let me know about that. Other thing I want you guys to let me know about, uh, I've been buying these 6-inch Star Wars figures. I have literally all of them including that black box back there. If you don't know what that is, it's a Star Wars Black Series item. I want to review these things. Uh, now, here's my question. And this is going to be up to people in the comments, uh, and if no one replies, then I'll just make an executive decision. Uh, would you like to see these reviewed in waves or individual figures? I kind of think for time's sake, it would be better as waves, but I know some people like individual detail on, on the figures themselves. Let me know. Just... If you want to see the Black Series, and if you don't want to see any of these, let me know that as well. Uh, but I'd really like to review this line. It's quite fantastic. Um, and so just let me know uh, if you want to see individual reviews or wave reviews for the um, Star Wars figures. Post your comments now so you don't forget. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to input on was those two things, the Tokyo stuff and the Star Wars stuff. Okay, moving along. Uh, like I said, Sound Out Gaming is getting a lot of content soon. Uh, also, to that extent, I'm going to start working towards getting more content to Sound Out Gaming, and so those videos won't be on as much of a schedule. I'd like to get at least one Sound Out toy review out a week, um, and maybe one gaming video a week, and if I can kind of balance that, that would be best. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it depends on how the next thing I'm going to show is. Uh, yeah. After a year of trying to assemble this guy, um, just waiting for parts to come out, I, I finally have the Mastermind Creations Feral Rex uh, all complete in his G1 Predaking look. Now, this isn't the complete thing, as there is a sixth member they're adding to become a replacement arm, uh, and I'm, I'm going to get him. But I'm going to start reviewing this now that it's finally complete. I, was, I had filmed reviews of, of Bovis and Fortis here, uh, the two legs, but I decided not to post them because I wanted to have this whole thing complete and so there'd be a little bit of a schedule to it. Uh, so what I want to do with these guys is I was thinking of doing a theme week. And the thing is, I don't know if I can pull off a theme week and do college, which means a theme week wouldn't happen until December. Um, but then Fellasaber would be out in December, so I could actually do seven days. So... Another question to my audience. Would you guys like to see 
this as a theme week or as individual reviews, like several weeks. Uh, I would try to figure out how to space it out so there wouldn't be just only Feral Rex guys going up. They need individual reviews. They do so much on their own. I feel like I need to review them separately. Um, but anyways, let me know about that. Uh, it's gonna. That's that's not. That's one I'll, I'll probably make the final decision on. Um, but I'd like to hear your input about that. The Star Wars and Tokyo reviews is like strictly viewer based. Um, so let me know about that. Any other any other things? What else do I need to talk about? Um, it's pretty much it. I mean, Godzilla back back there. I don't know how to film on camera, apparently. Anyways, uh, Godzilla back there is the, the two-foot-tall Godzilla. I don't know if I should review him. He's a little gigantic, um, so he would be a little bit difficult for my little review set. I mean, Feral Rex here is going to have some difficulty as well. Uh, but I might review that as well. I got things coming in the mail. Um, I mean, I've ordered a lot of stuff. A lot of video game stuff. Um, so... I guess I should bring this up now. This would be a good time to bring it up. Uh, this may go up on Sound Out Gaming. I'll ask this question again. Uh, the Nintendo is releasing the Amiibo figures later this year with Smash Brothers. I have ordered all of them because I'm insane. So the thing is, because they're toys and video games, I want to know from you guys, would you like to see them on Sound Out Gaming only? Would you like to see the toy part of it reviewed on Sound Out 12? Or would you like to see the same video posted on both channels? I would like some input on that. I would like to see what you guys think I should do with that. There's several months to decide this, but let me know in the comments below. Um, so to recap, four, four questions I got for you guys. Would you like the Tokyo reviews done now with Safari Gao as the combination base? Or in November, uh, or past November, when Shigoku Tokyo comes out as the base? B, not question number two. Would you like me to see? Would you like me to review the Star Wars Black Series figures? And if you do, would you like to see individual reviews or wave reviews? Question three: Would you like to see Predicon, the, uh, the the Predaking uh, Feral Rex reviews done periodically over time or as a theme week? Uh, I'm trying to go with letters and I'm counting with numbers. Now, question number four: Would you like to see the Amiibo reviews be? toys on 10 out 12 gaming part on gaming let me know about that um, that's pretty much all I got for now uh, be patient please uh, you've all been wonderful I have not gotten any hate comments of like oh where's the videos um, not this time uh, the last time I had a hiatus I did have that issue but with all that said uh, I appreciate every one of you that watches my videos I wouldn't be doing this if people didn't actually watch my videos um, and I hope that no one's upset. I, I just I just haven't had time. Um, if you want to know my time breakdown, I sleep eight hours a night on a good day. Uh, I go to school for three hours a day, approximately. I have a bunch of time in between that's kind of filled out between classes. Um, so I, I actually go to more like five, five to six hours a day. But... Um, I spend most of the rest of the time on homework, and the rest of that time that I don't spend on homework, I use as de-stressing time, which is reading comics, playing video games, um, not making reviews. Uh, it's it's just like, the thing is, is that making reviews isn't stressful. Um, it's just really time consuming because I have to clear the space for the review, I have to do the lighting, I have to set up everything. Um, I put so much work into making my videos good, I can't revert back. Um, and so I want to keep producing quality content. Um, so that's basically why there hasn't been any videos. Um, so anyways, let me know about those four questions below. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to Standout Gaming as stuff will start happening on, on Hyrule Warriors Day. And talk some sound saying, check out HeroTaka.com for all your news and more for everything. And goodbye.